Biological hazard are organic substances that pose a threat to the health of human and other living organisms, viruses, toxins, spores, fungi, and bioactive substances. It includes biological vectors and transmitters of disease worldwide. It is estimated that around 320,000 workers die per year from communicable disease caused by work-related exposure to biological hazard. So what are the examples of biological hazard? So here are the examples of biological hazard. These are the burning plastics, fungi, stinging insects, rubbish, parasites, and volcanic ash. First, the burning of plastic. When plastic waste and food waste are burned, they produce dioxin and furan. These elements, even in small quantities, can cause death. If dioxin is inhaled, it can instantly cause coughing, shortness of breath, and dizziness. Long-term exposure to dioxin can also cause to cancer. An other harmful effect of burning waste is pollution as it can damage the ozone layer. And the second is fungi. Fungi, a relative few fungal species, are pathogenic cause disease, infectious allergies in man, and produce toxins that affect plants, animals, and humans. The third example is stinging insects. Stinging or biting insects or scorpions can be hazardous to people. This includes bees, wasps, hornets, fire ants, and scorpions. These biting insects range from mild discomfort or pain to a level reaction for those people who are allergic to the insect's venom. So the fourth example is rubbish. Rubbish can cause inflammation of the brain and meaningless signs and symptoms can include slight or partial paralysis, anxiety, insomnia, confusion, agitation, abnormal behavior, paranoia, terror, and hallucinations progressing to delirium and coma. The fifth example is parasites. There are many types of parasites and symptoms can vary widely. Sometimes, this may resemble the symptoms of other conditions such as a hormone deficiency, pneumonia, and food poisoning. Many types of parasites can affect the eye, the skin, and the brain, like babesiosis, balantidiasis, blastocystosis, giardiasis, amobiasis, and cosidiosis. And lastly, volcanic ash. Inhalation of volcanic ash can be very detrimental to the human health due to the harmful aerosols and poisonous gases the ash is made up of health effects include respiratory problems, eye problems, and skin irritation. Our first precautionary measures is, from taking a foothold at home, your best defense is to keep skin clean and dry. Change underwear and socks daily. Let your sneakers air out and wash them regularly. Take your shoes off at home and expose your feet to the air. The second precautionary measure is cover food and drinks to keep insects out. Wear clothes to shoes outdoors and avoid going barefoot to stare clear of stepping on a stinging insect. Avoid loose fitting garments that can trap insects between material and skin. If you have an epileptic reaction, inject if in your print immediately and call 911. The third precautionary measures. Wash your hands regularly, especially after handling some dirty things you've touched. The fourth precautionary measure is drink clean water including bottled water when you're traveling. The fifth precautionary measure is wear a dust mask designed to protect against lung irritation from small particles. Our last precautionary measure is do not use vaccines that are already used by other people. Resiliency. First, you should consult your doctor for further examination. We individuals need a doctor even when we are healthy. 
because a doctor not only manages and cure illness, but also helps prevent illness and promotes wellness. Having a regular relationship with your primary care doctor is important and can be critical in diagnosing potential issues. Second, you should apply alcohol or betadine to your wound for effective healing. It helps you to threat minor cuts, scrapes, or burns as instructed by your physician. It also helps to promptly kill germs as the skin that may cause an infection. Third, you should visit your trusted doctor. It is important for us to help identify our risk factors and problems before they become serious. If diseases are caught early, treatments are usually much more effective. Ultimately, having a regular doctor's visit will help you live a long and healthy life. And lastly, you should make your proper hygiene. One personal benefit of good hygiene is having a better health. Keeping your body clean, it helps you to prevent illness and infection from bacteria or viruses. It may also help you to have a better self-esteem. So, and that's all guys. So, thanks for watching our video. So, we hope that you learned about something on our video about biological hazard on how to prevent and how to recover.